Welcome to today's nature walk. We're walking along the beach looking through the tide pools. Here's a cannonball jelly. Stomophilus meleagris, which means many-mouthed hunter. This is an exciting thing to see on the beaches right now because they're a favorite food of loggerhead turtles. And when the jellies begin to wash up on the beaches, the turtles aren't far behind. But let's look a little closely at this one. They have this big bell. Cannonball jellies do have stinging cells, but they're in the mucus up under the bell and they don't bother most people, but some people can have a very bad reaction. So be careful, wash your hands and don't touch your face or eyes. Here's another one. And look, here's a little friend hiding in here. This is a long-nosed spider crab, Libinia dubia. These guys range from Cape Cod to Texas and they can be found on sandy bottoms and seagrass beds. Sometimes they camouflage themselves by attaching seaweed or algae to their carapace. The relationship between these two species, cannonball jellies and long-nosed spider crabs, has been long documented as an example of symbiosis or two organisms that live in super close contact. This is an example of commensalism because the crab doesn't harm the jelly, but it does eat some of the food the jellyfish collects. It probably uses it for protection and it can even nibble on the jellyfish itself and the crab gains some easy transportation around the ocean. But now that this jellyfish has washed up on the beach, the juvenile crab will make its way back to the ocean.